The spectrum measurement program measures the absorbance, transmittance, or reflectance spectra of a sample. To specify the measurement parameters, you can either click the Parameters keyboard icon or go to Measure Parameters. The Parameter menu box will now pop up and the first tab selected will be General. Here you can specify which photometric modes to measure – absorbance, transmittance, reflectance, sample single beam, or reference single beam. The bandwidth determines how much light reaches the sample. The smaller the bandwidth, the less light throughput, and the lower the signal to noise, but you can achieve better peak resolution. If you are using a V730, the bandwidth remains fixed at 1 nanometer. The V750, 760, 770, and 780 all allow for the bandwidth to be varied. Different beam shapes are also available. L is a low stray light mode and decreases the width of the beam shape, while M can be used for microcells. The NIR bandwidth specifies the bandwidth for the near-infrared wavelength region if the V770 or 780 is used. The response time is the time spent accumulating photometric or absorbance values. The response time can be increased to get better signal-to-noise for samples with small absorbances. If basic mode has been selected, the optimum UV-VIS response is automatically determined from the specified bandwidth and scan speed, and the NIR response is set to the same value as the UV-VIS response. The start and end fields determine the wavelength range for the measurement. The longer wavelength is specified in the start field, while the shorter wavelength is specified in the end field. The data interval selects the wavelength interval for data acquisition. Three data points should be acquired per bandwidth, so if the bandwidth is 1 nanometer, you would need a data interval of at least 0.2 nanometers. There are two scan modes. Continuous scan, which acquires a photometric signal at each wavelength while moving across the desired wavelength range, and step scan, which stops the monochromator at each wavelength to obtain a signal. The scanning speed is the speed at which the data is collected. The scan speed and response combinations are limited to avoid a decrease in resolution and can be found in the V700 series manual. The accumulations are the number of spectrum obtained and averaged together. Cycles obtains sequential sample measurements without having to manually start each one. Vertical scale specifies the upper and lower limits for the vertical axis range to display in the spectrum window. Selecting auto sets the full scale to approximately 1.2 times the maximum amplitude of the displayed spectrum. In advanced mode, the correction tab lets you select whether to correct your absorbance data with no baseline, a baseline, or a dark correction. The dark correction measures the absorbance with the beam path blocked by a shielding plate. It is recommended for samples with high absorbances and cannot be selected when in basic mode. In the control tab, you can specify the changeover wavelength for the lamp, and for the V770 and 780, the grading detector changeover wavelength. The D2 and tungsten halogen lamps switch at 340 nanometers. If you have a peak at 340 nanometers, you can move that changeover wavelength between 330 and 350 nanometers. The grading detector changeover wavelength occurs at 850 nanometers and can be moved between 750 to 900 nanometers. You can also specify if you wish to use only the D2 or halogen lamp or choose an external light source. The filter exchange option determines whether the wavelength scan is paused at the filter exchange wavelength. When the filter is changed without pausing, the measurement time is shortened, but noise may appear at the filter changeover wavelength. The flowchart tab will display the measurement and data processing flow in the information bar to the left, dictated by said flowchart. If the flowchart option is selected, a sequence measurement cannot be performed and vice versa. You can select the timing of the baseline measurement if it has been selected in the Correction tab. If the Dark Measurement option has been selected in the Correction tab, the timing of the Dark Measurement must be specified as well, along with any desired message. The Data tab allows you to specify comments and whether to display them before the measurement and keep them stored in the Information tab to view later. 
You can also perform data processing on the obtained measurement using a previously created processing file, or if the flowchart has not been selected, you can open a sequence file to perform sequential measurements. These parameters can be saved and also can be opened. To quickly pull up a previously used parameter file without saving it, you can register a set of parameters. Select Register, specify the name, Now anytime you wish to pull up a previously registered set of parameters, select the name from the drop-down list and click Apply. Click OK to set the specified parameters. At the top of spectrum measurement, the starting wavelength, photometric value, and number of accumulations will be displayed. If a flowchart has been selected, begin the measurement by selecting the Start icon or going to Measure, Start. If a flowchart has not been selected, the sample, baseline, and dark measurement icons will be highlighted and you could select one of those to begin acquiring data.